Let's fight. So here we go with round one. It is not a question of if, it's a question of when this fight hits the ground. You've got a grappler, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Most people think we're going to get a grappler's delight. Today. Yes, we are going to get a grappler's delight. But for the Jiu Jitsu player, for the Jiu Jitsu fighter, he cannot allow for himself to constantly be on his back. Because in the grappling realm, not only do these guys possess great submission skills, but the grounded pound, the advancements in the position is so key to the game. He has to make sure he's not thinking this is a jiu-jitsu match, this is a fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Again, back into his position. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, wow, actually got the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. You gotta be careful, arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Nicely done. Oh, might be able to get his leg here and he does. The problem with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. 45 seconds remain in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Round two straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, let's go. All right, round two. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oliveira gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. And follows up with another one. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done. Off and off. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platform. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And attack an arm bar. Now he's in no danger of a 
submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Oliveira. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slips through the crack so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Ground and pound strike there now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Ready? Ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. And now he's oh, got he the tie into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Oliver. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now it's his mouth. All right, close guard now. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabo 
more is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using it for All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready? Ready? Let's go fight, guys. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right, so call it tie now. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely oh, done. Oh, nice. Somehow stays in the fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Don't understand how tiring this position is. I know the clinch may not look pretty, but it's very, very effective. Brilliant submission defense there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. Nice kick down land. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oliveira's in half goal. Well, you gotta be working off your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Going for an arm bar now. Try to manipulate the head here. Oh, man, that was slick. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 20 seconds left. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Next round is underway here, and if you can't stay calm when a fighter is attempting a submission on you, you're gonna get finished. I mean, you're done, John. You're done. If you panic, you're gonna present your neck, you're gonna go far. You gotta really stay patient. Yeah, that's my fighter name, John. No panic, panic. Oh uh, my goodness! No, Did actually, you just make that up? It's actually the anaconda. You should be a rapper. You really should rap if you can put stuff together like this. I'll be real. <laughs> stuff. Oh, that was a big. Kick. Get 
getting tighter. to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Sound strike on the ground. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Oliveira. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep. That is it! Oh. And there comes the stoppage! strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Inside the Octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Israel Makachev. So there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word. It's it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear and new. And then they want to hear.